Um, so hey guys, I'm back for another video and before I start, um, I'm really sorry that I won't talk a lot and this video is pretty long so yeah, I won't be able to talk for 8 minutes because I'm kind of losing my voice and that happened because I was singing and screaming with my friend yesterday, so yeah. Um, so as you can see I'm doing a cheap pencil challenge and I can tell you it wasn't really a challenge because it was pretty easy to use. These pencils actually aren't that bad even though these are the kind of pencils that I didn't want to use as a kid so yeah that's pretty strange. Um, so I think the problem was that I lacked of skills, I didn't know how shadows and highlights work and also I wasn't patient enough. And I think that these things are what makes a young artist struggle a lot. And yeah, I think all you need is just to be patient. Usually when I look at younger people artwork, I just see a lot of uh, white spots left. And it looks like the drawing was rushed and they didn't take time to actually color it. So if you fix that, I think that your drawing will come out pretty good. And yeah, um, there was some funny thing about this drawing actually and when I showed it to my grandmother she actually considered not to buy me Copics because she said that I'm amazing with these pencils and at first I didn't believe her and then I showed it to my boyfriend and he said the same exact thing so I was really shocked and I, at first I didn't believe them but now I actually see that there is no big difference between my drawings of Copics and these cheap pencils that I have since I was a little kid. So I was like why do I have to buy those Copics and spend a lot of money when I have these, these pencils. And here you can see that I show you the sketch of this drawing and after that I show the pencils that I used. So yeah, these are just some cheap pencils and they are really old and they were a huge struggle to sharpen. Um, and there are a few tips that I can give you. They are pretty simple and they are just take your time and color it for at least few hours. For example, this drawing is really small and I did it for about 5 or 6 hours. So yeah, I think that's pretty long and that is why you can't see any white spots and it's smooth, so yeah. Um, also try to buy a few brands of cheap pencils because you will have more colors to choose from and your drawings will look totally better, believe me. For example, I used two types of pencils for this one, so I had pretty good variation of colors to pick from. And yeah, also build from dark to light and build it slowly and try to avoid black um, color as a shadow. Try to use some other colors like dark purple, dark green, dark red and stuff uh, and also brown of course. So yeah, these are the small tips that I can give you and I think I should probably stop this or else I will totally lose my voice. So yeah, I guess that's it for now and sorry I can't talk again. And see ya in my next video that I will totally talk for full video. And yeah, I need I really need to stop this because I'm like not really good at English and also I struggle with my voice now, so that's a disaster for me. So yeah, I guess bye.